Hey guys, welcome back for another assembly video. In this one, we're gonna show you the yoke assembly for a PBMO lubricator. So the first thing we're gonna start off doing is installing the packings into the upper and lower yokes. We normally start this process by adding a light layer of grease to the walls of the packing area. Then we insert the Teflon packing retainer using a small rod so the retainer doesn't flip. The rest of the packing set can now be installed. After inserting the packing set, we use a deep socket about the same width as the packing set and lightly hammer down until the junk ring is past the threads. Once the packing is installed, apply a light layer of grease to the threads of the stuffing nut and rotate until it's flat with the body of the yoke. When you have the packing installed, simply repeat the steps for the second yoke. With your yokes ready to go, the next step is installing the side plates. Start by lightly hammering the pull-out dowel pins into the center hole on the side of the yoke. With your dowel pins ready to go, the next step is installing the side plate. Before installing the side plate onto the dowel pins, we normally take a half inch drill bit and pass through the hole on the side plate. This helps to clean out the side plate and remove any extra powder coat that may cause resistance when installing. When you're ready to install the side plates, lift the side plate onto the dowel pins. You can use a rubber mallet to lightly hammer the side plate until it's flush with the yoke. The next step is to install the side plate screws. Remember to add your lock washer, and in the video you can see we also use a small amount of Loctite. Install the side plate screws until they're hand tight. Once your side plate screws are hand tight, install the second side plate. It's important to note here that if you over tighten the bolts on the first side plate, it may cause installation of the second side plate to be a bit more difficult. Generally, we install both side plates with the screws hand tight, and after both side plates are on, we pass over the bolts with a torque wrench. So with the first side plate on and the bolts hand tight, you can then move to the second side plate. To make this easier, we rotate the assembly onto the side plate as you can see in the video. This will make it easier to install the second side plate. Again, once the side plate is on the dowel pins, you can lightly hammer until it's flush with the yoke. 
Then install the remaining eight side plate bolts hand tight, remembering your lock washer and a small amount of Loctite. As I previously mentioned, once all the bolts are in both side plates, it's usually a good idea to give it a once over with the torque wrench. We normally use a setting of about 30 foot pounds. The next step in the assembly is the glands and collars. To start, put two glands onto one of the four inch pieces of high pressure tubing with the threads of the glands facing outward. Then thread your collars onto the tubing. You will want to leave about two to three threads visible above the collar. To follow along with the video, we install the first piece into one of the ports on the upper yoke. Then we move down and install the second one onto the lower yoke. We then install two of the two-way needle valves onto the glands. This will make this side of the lubricator the bleed side of the lubricator. Next we install the 4 inch high pressure tubing on the opposite side of the lubricator. With the last glands and collars in place, you can now install the glands and collars onto the 20 inch high pressure tubing. You will use the same method you previously used when installing the glands and collars onto the four inch high pressure tubing. With your tubing ready, you can now install the last two needle valves. Line up your needle valves with the two glands that are already installed in the yokes. Keep in mind that your three-way needle valve should have an open port and it should be facing the top of the lubricator assembly. Take a look at the video to make sure all your needle valves are in the correct place. When you're ready to move on, the next step is to tighten all the connections. We'll start with the glands that are closest to the yokes. Next, tighten the remaining connections to the needle valves. You'll need to use a second adjustable wrench to prevent the valve from moving while tightening. Finally, with all the connections tight, the last step is to install the wing nut onto the lower yoke. To do this, you'll first need to install the retaining ring with some snap ring pliers. Then put the wing nut on. Then install your segmented lock ring with the groove for the snap ring at the top. With your segmented pieces in place, pull the wing nut down until you can see the groove for the snap ring. Again, using your snap ring pliers, Pull the retaining ring over the lock ring. And that's it. You've now completed a yoke assembly for a pressure balanced manually operated lubricator. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like or a comment and we'll see you in the next one. If you want to find out more about us, you can visit our website at www.heshkaoil.com and there will be a link in the description.